and welcome to our video tutorial for this skull bandana that you can see Melba modeling here. So we hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so to make this bandana, you'll need to choose your yarn, and I'm going with this one here, which is a tape yarn. It's an acrylic metallic um, yarn. It's probably about a two weight, and I don't know if the metallic is showing up on camera, but um, perhaps you can make out the texture of it there. So I'm going with that, and it works up really well into this pattern. But choose your yarn, and I would recommend if you're making this for a cat, you stick down on the lower yarn weight one, two, three maximum perhaps would work okay for this pattern. You'll need a crochet hook to correspond to your yarn and I've got a 2.5 millimeter. Some scissors, a darning needle to weave in your ends and an optional tape measure to take a measurement of your cat's neck circumference. This is a tie-up bandana so you don't need an exact measurement as long as your ties are long enough to accommodate your cat's neck circumference plus tie a little knot or bow behind their neck, then you're fine. You don't need that exact measurement. But as always, I'll include in the description box below a guide to standard cat neck sizes, and you can work from there. Okay, so here's one I've made previously in the same yarn, but I've used um, blue for this one. So to make this, you'll need to know how to make a magic ring, how to double crochet, how to single crochet and how to single crochet two together. So I'll show you how to do that. And we single crochet two together in this main skull area just to give it a little bit of relief, a little bit of um, texture. Uh, you'll need to know how to make a chain. These are all chain stitches all along here. And you'll need to know how to slip stitch to make the ties and then from there weaving in your ends. So it is, um, you know, most of these techniques are beginner friendly. It, you know, it might be towards a slightly more experienced beginner for this project um, with the single crochet two together. Um, but, you know, you, if you're a beginner and you've got just those basic techniques under your belt, I'll help you work through that single crochet two together and just, you know, give it a go, see how you go. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, you're going to make a magic ring. So you do your magic ring in the way that you do it. This is how I do mine. But if you need to brush up on these, any of these, you know, basic crochet techniques, then, then please do. Now, so we've got our magic ring, and for row one, we're going to chain three, and that will count as our first double crochet. And then we're going to place three more double crochets into our magic ring. So I use US terminology, so we're yarning over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a double crochet. So we've got um, our first chain, which counts, so we've got one, two, three, and one more double crochet into the ring makes four. Now you'll pull on your tail end and close your ring up. And then we're going to move on to row two. So chain your three, which counts as a, a double crochet. Turn your work. Now into this first stitch underneath the chain, we're going to work three more double crochets. So that's one. two and three. So you've got four double crochets in that first stitch including your chain three. Okay so one two three four. You're going to chain one and then in this last chain, or well, it was your first chain that you made when you made your magic ring, the very first chain you made. So in this last, what will count as the last stitch, you're going to place four double crochets. Okay, so get it into, your hook right into the top of the chain there. One. Oops, split. And two, and three, and one more, four. 
Okay, so in that row two, you've got four double crochets, chain one, four double crochets. Okay, moving on to round or row three. So chain your three. Each row will start with that chain three turn. In that first stitch, place this time just two double crochets. So in those first two rows, we've got clusters of four double crochets. Now let me just bring in the one that I've made previously. There it is. So we're starting down here, as you, you know. So we've got, in these first two rows, we've got clusters of four double crochets. So four double crochets um, in, in, you know, in the same stitch. From here on out, from row three, we're, all of these will be just clusters of three double crochets. Okay, so we're just going to drop down to having three double crochets in our first stitch. Then you're going to chain six. And into the top of your chain from the last row, you're going to place three double crochets. So that's one, and two, and three. And that finishes out row three. So moving on to row four. Now this is where we're going to start our single crochet two together. And I'm going to show you that stitch. So chain your three and we'll start our row as we're going to start each row and place two more double crochets into that first stitch along with your chain. Then you're going to chain three. You're going to skip this first chain, okay? So you're skipping the two double crochets as well as the first chain. And into the next chain, you're going to make your first single crochet two together, okay? So insert your hook into that chain and pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over here, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all four. Okay, and that's your first single crochet two together. Move along to the next chain, we're going to do the same thing. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. All, all of the loops. So that's two two single crochets, two together. We've got two more. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. Okay, and then we've got one more. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops. Okay, so that's our, our first little set of single crochet two together okay that you can see along here now we're just going to finish out this row by mirroring how it started so chain your three which is the same as your chain three at the beginning here and then in the last stitch which is the top of the chain you'll place your three double crochets so one two, and three. And that finishes out row four. Okay, moving on to row five. So chain your three and turn, and then two more double crochets into that first stitch. We're going to chain four. And then we're going to work across these four single crochets, uh, two together. Now, they can just be a little bit tricky to work out where to place your hook. Okay, so just take a moment just to, 
to check out your work. So what I do is I count the stitch as being just forward of the stitch below. So that's my second one there, third one there, and then my last one is here. Okay. What it can look like is that you need to put a stitch in here. So just be aware of that, okay? So you don't want to add on here. You're still working only into four stitches. So like I said, I take the stitch just forward of of this little of this little sort of well cluster kind of this little bobble here. So you're going to work a double crochet in that first stitch. So just forward of the stitch. You're going to chain one. In the next stitch, a double crochet, chain one, next stitch, double crochet, chain one, and then in that last stitch, double crochet. Okay, and then you're going to chain four, just mirror the beginning and your three double crochets in the top of that chain. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Okay, so moving on to row six. I'm going back to our single crochets two together. So chain your three and your first two double crochets in that first stitch. We're going to chain four. And then we're going to, in these last two chains, so we're in total, we're going to work across these double crochets and the chain one spaces, but we're also going to add two stitches on either side. So we're going to work into our chain from the previous row. So we're going to skip those two stitches from the previous row and two of the chains, and then we're going to work into the next chain, so the third chain with, oops, did I yarn over? No, I didn't. So we're going to single crochet two together in that third chain. So just the same as before, and then again in the next chain. Okay, so we've got two single crochet, two together there. In the double crochet from the previous row, we're going to work our next single crochet, two together. And then into the chain space, our next one. And then into the stitch, the double crochet. Into the chain space. The stitch. You can see how this is going to go, I think. Into the chain space. Into the stitch. And then, of course, we've got to work into the two next chains. So we're getting the same as the other, the other end. So just sometimes it helps to count backwards. So I can see my first two chains there. And then, because my this one here is a little bit squished, so I just want to make sure I work into that. Yeah, it's gone a little bit tight, that, that chain. So just make sure that you're working into that first chain as we go back the other way. And then into the next chain. And then we're going to chain our four to mirror the beginning, and then our three double crochets in that last stitch. One and two and three. 
Okay, so that's this is how it's looking now. Okay. So now we're going to move on to row 7. And for row 7, we're just going to begin as we've done so far, the same, this chain 3 and then 2 double crochets in that first that first stitch. We're going to chain 5. 3 and 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. And then we're going to work into the first four of these single crochet two together. So once again, just don't, don't get confused. Just count them and, and check them out if you need to. So working just forward of the stitch. One, that's one. That'll be my next one. Three, four. Okay, so we're going to work into those first four. So just don't get distracted by this, this one right at the beginning here. Okay, that looks a bit like it might be the stitch. Okay, so four single crochet two together. That's my first one. Sometimes that metallic gets a little bit, a little bit stuck. And then the next one, it's two. Three and four. Then we're going to chain five and skip three. So one, two, three. And then you'll have four stitches left, and so you'll be working into those four. So one, two, three. Your single crochet two together. That's one. Two, three, and last one, four. Chain five, and your three double crochets in that last stitch, which is, of course, the top of the chain. Two. And three. Okay, so let's just have a look how we're going here. So you might just need to, you know, shape your work just slightly. But there we go. We've got we're, this will this little five chain space will become the nose, but we've got the bottom half of the skull there. Okay. So moving on to row eight. Start in the same way as before, one, two, three, and turn your two double crochets. Then we're going to chain six, five, and six. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet two together. So once again, don't be distracted by the beginning little loop there. Come into that first stitch and make a slip stitch. And pull that relatively tight. You're going to chain 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. So we're making the eye sockets here. You're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, and three. Now get two loops of the chain. So you get that chain sitting nicely. Now if you've got too much of a little hole in your chain, your, hole, your chain is sort of coming apart, what you can do is just slip stitch into the chain five space. So I'll give you both of those options. If you're having a bit of trouble slip stitching neatly into the third chain, you can, you can just slip stitch into the chain space. Okay. I think I'm going to just slip stitch into the chain because mine was, mine was pretty neat there. Sometimes the chain can kind of open up and makes things look a bit messy. But if you get two loops, so the top, the, that back bump, plus the 
the, the top loop of the V, you should be okay. But again, if, you, if you're struggling with that, just slip stitch into the five chain space. Chain 10 for the second eye socket. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're going to slip stitch into the last single crochet. Two together from the previous row. Pull again, pull that one nice and tight. Chain your six. Finish out how you started. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to double crochet those three in the last stitch. One, two, and three. Okay, so we've got the little, little eye sockets there. Okay, row nine. Let's start just as before. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, just three. One, two, three, getting a bit carried away there. Three chains and then your two double crochets in that first stitch. Okay, now this is this row just might be a little bit tricky. We're going to be working those Double, uh, those single crochet two together into the chains okay so you'll chain here five four and five so we now we need eight single crochets in each of these chains okay so we're going to skip single crochet two together that is so we're going to skip the first chain okay and then work into the next now once again, if you're having trouble working into the chains, because the chain is kind of backwards, so you have to kind of twist it towards you. And if you're having trouble working into the chain, you can work, once again, into the chain space. That's also fine. Otherwise, you're going to work into that second chain. So you've skipped the first, you've skipped, obviously, the chain from the previous row. And then you've skipped the first chain in that chain 10 from the previous row. And then you'll work your first single crochet two together in that next chain, the second chain. And then you're going to work seven more. So a total of eight, one in the next seven chains. Okay, so I'm going to finish those eight across here. So you'll be putting one in each chain to the second to last chain. And then we're going to jump over and do the same on this next chain. Okay, so I'm going to meet you. I'll meet you once I get down to this first chain and we'll just move over to the, the next one together. But if you want to just keep continuing on, continue. You, there's no chain or anything in the middle. You'll just jump straight over once you've finished the eight in that first chain you'll just jump over skip the first chain and then put your eight into the next chains so that your eight single crochet two together into the next eight chains after you've skipped that first one so i'm going to pause here and you move along and i'll meet you soon okay so this is my second to last chain in the first chain 10 across the first die socket and then, as I said, I'm just going to jump straight across to the second chain in the next eye socket and just start my single crochet two together. Okay, and then I've got uh, seven more, so I'll do that and I'll meet you in a moment. Okay, so here's my last single crochet two together in that second to last chain in the second eye socket. And then I'm going to chain my five. Four and five just as I did at the beginning and then my three double crochets one and two and three and that finishes out row nine so you can see the skull is is really becoming more prominent now so let's move on to row 10. 
Okay, so for row 10, we'll chain our three. And turn. Two double crochets in that first stitch. We're going to chain six. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to place, so in this first eye socket, so we've got eight single crochet two together, if you remember correctly, we're going to break that down to six. So we're going to skip the first stitch and start our, our first single crochet two together in this row in the next stitch. And then one in the next five stitches to give us that total of six. So two. And three. And then I've got three more. And then what I'm going to do in this row, so I've got three more single crochet two together on this first eye socket. I'm going to skip the last one and then the first one in the next eye socket. And then do my six and then I'll skip the last one chain my six and finish out this row with those three double crochets in the end of the row. Okay, so I'm going to let you move along. So just to recap, I've got my first three single crochet two, uh, two together here. I've got three more to go to make a total of six across this, this first eye socket. I'm going to skip the last one of this eye socket and the first one of the next eye socket. And then I'm going to place my six skip the last stitch, chain my six, and then my three double crochets in the end of this row. So move along and finish out your, your row, what are we up to, row 10, and I'll see you in a moment. Actually, I'll just come back here quickly to make sure that you're cool with this. So those two there across the nose, I'm going to skip those two and then start working into the next stitch. And then I've got my six. Six more single crochet two together. So I'll see you at the end of this row. So sorry, <laughs> I'm back again. So just remember to skip that last stitch, okay, on this on this second eye socket. Okay, now I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so moving on to row 11, chain your three and turn, double crochet by two in that first stitch. Chaining eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to work eight single crochets. So we've got 12, single crochet two together that is. We've got 12 along here at the moment. So we're going to skip the first two stitches. Okay, so one, two. We're going to start working into that third stitch with our single crochet two together and then in the next seven stitches we're going to place our single crochet two together so you'll get that eight across the center and then of course we're going to skip the last two stitches just as we skipped the first two stitches and then we're going to chain our eight and then our three double crochets in the last stitch which is always the top of the chain. So I'm going to leave you to finish out your row 11 and I'll see you soon. Okay so that's the end of row 11. We've got three rows to go so chain your three and turn, your two double crochets in that first stitch. Then we're going to chain 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We want to reduce our 8 single crochet 2 together down to 6 now. So skip the first stitch and work into the next stitch. And then into the next five stitches, skip the last stitch, 
chain your 10 and then your three double crochets in the last stitch. So I'm going to let you just move along, finish off those six single crochet two together, skip that last stitch and then just chain 10 to get across and then your three double crochets in the last stitch. So see you at the end of row 12. Okay, so it's all really taking shape now. So round 13, second to last round, row, we'll chain our three and turn, two double crochets, we're going to chain 12, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to reduce these six single crochet two together to four. So once again, we'll skip the first stitch, work into the next. Our single crochet two together. And then one in the next three stitches, skip the last one, chain your twelve and then three double crochets at the end. So see you soon. Okay, so for our 14th and final round, before we add on our ties, we've got a chain three, and actually just to say, we've finished our, finished our skull now. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off with this, this is row that just sits underneath the neck, this one across here. Okay, so chain three and turn and your two double crochets at the beginning of the row. Oops. Two double crochets at the beginning of the row. One and two. And then we're going to work in these, so we're going to skip that those next two stitches. And in each of these chains, we're going to work just a single crochet. That's two. Normal single crochet, not a single crochet, two together. Three, four, and six. So we're going to work ten of these. Six. And then we're going to skip two at the end, two of these chains at the end. So that's seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're going to we're just going to skip those last two chains, and we're also going to skip all of these four across here, and then skip the first two chains. So to get across there, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four five and six. So skip the top of the skull, the first two chains, and then you're going to start working into the next and then 10 single crochets on this side as well. One. Okay, so finish out your 10 single crochets along this chain and then finish out this last row with your three double crochets in the last stitch. Okay, so there's the main part of our bandana finished. So we're just going to add the ties on, and that's very, very simple. These are just slip stitch chain, uh, sorry, yeah, slip stitch in chain. Yeah, so we're going to make our chain, and in this one I chained 70 chains, but you'll chain the amount that you need. And then I've slip stitched all the way down the chain and attached back in the corner here and then we're going to tie on for the second chain so start chaining from here you can just directly start chaining so one two three four so I'm going to chain once again 70 now 70 is a completely arbitrary number you can chain you know 50 you can chain 100 you can chain however many chains you need for your cat's neck circumference the length and then the length that you need left over to tie either a knot or a bow okay at the back of the neck so you chain the length that you need and uh, just count your chain so you know exactly how many to make for the second chain and I'll see you once I've done mine 
Okay, so I've got my 70 chains there. And then just skipping that first chain from the hook, you'll just start to make your slip stitches down the length of your chain. Now, if you wanted to leave it just as a chain, you could tie off and just uh, weave your, your tail end into the back of the chain, which is a little bit more tricky than weaving it into the main part of the bandana, which is going, what we're going to be able to do once we get down to the end of our chain. So you'll slip stitch all the way down, creating your first tie. And I'll meet you once I get down to here. Okay, I'm just placing my last slip stitch there. And then with this, with this uh, tie on this side, we're just going to slip stitch into the side there. So I, what I do is I slip stitch into the center of that double crochet right in the side there. and your tie is attached and then you'll just yarn over and pull through snip off your tail there's my scissors up there snip off your tail and then of course you tighten tighten that off and then of course you're going to weave in that tail end but I'll do that a little bit later on we'll move on to the next tie so I'll just show you how I tie on. So if you've got your own way, then please do it your way. But I'm just going to tie on to this, into the, the so in this, this row here, we've got the, the top of the chain. So I'm just going to insert my hook in there. And I'm going to wrap my yarn over top of the hook. So this short end at the back, I'm going to pull up a loop. And then I'm going to start my chain. Three, four, okay. So I just tie on in that really simple way. You can just tighten that tail end if you need to. And you'll go ahead and do exactly the same for your second tie. So I'm going to tie, I'm going to chain my 70 and I'm going to then slip stitch back down the chain just as I did for this first tie. You do the same and I'll meet you and we just attach this tie just slightly differently rather than attaching down on the side here we'll attach more onto the top and you'll see why it's just so we can have the the front of the ties facing us. And then from there all we've got to do is uh, weave in our tail ends and finish off our project so I'll see you once you've slip stitched you've chained and then you've slip stitched down for your second tie. Okay so I'm just placing my last slip stitch in the second tie. Now you'll see that if you twist down and slip stitch into this side here you'll you'll twist your your tie so you'll just have to slip stitch back into the same stitch that you tied onto just to keep the keep the tie facing the front and then of course you'll get rid of that other tail and you will of course then just yarn over pull through And tighten off and so we've got four ends to weave in there so I'm, I'll just show you one but again sort of you know I just assume that you've got these basic techniques down so just thread your darning needle with one of your tail ends and into the back you'll just work your tail into the stitches to, to hide and secure it. Okay, so go ahead and weave in your four tail ends and I'll see you once I've done mine. Okay, so there are my two finished bandanas together. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, just a little bit of fun for a Halloween type theme or a, you know, an anytime theme really. You, you know, you don't have to make this for Halloween, but it's just a cute little motif on there. So I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, yeah, 
I would love to see your photos of how yours has turned out, which yarns you've used, which colors you've used, um, you know, just so we can all inspire each other to uh, keep crocheting and keep having a little bit of fun with our cats. So please send along your photos to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.community. Crochet. I always love to meet your cat and, like I said, see your creation. So uh, please do that if you have some time. So thanks very much for being here and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Really? She's got a little mohawk because she's just been uh, wormed. <laughs> ah, you're so cute, Milba. Okay, you ready to go? You ready? You did good. Thanks, Milba.